guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film uh, something that I have been waiting to film. It's a $1,000 worth of makeup tutorial and it was very hard to choose which products to use because I wanted this to be still something that you could wear if you want <laughs> a little over the top maybe but uh, I will put the prices down every time I use something and I try to remember the price but it will be in the video the price of the product and I try to show it to you uh, precisely what product it is. Uh, first I'm gonna start with uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Uh, this is $42. I start by putting it. I just got it. I love this very much. This is just like a moisturizer. You can use it as, as a moisturizer. The bottle says it, and this will be my base. And this is not all I'm gonna do. This is so hydrating, I love it. Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel, which I will use as my under eye, eye primer. So I will put just a little under my eyes. This is a miracle worker. It really brightens up your under eyes. This was 40, $48 worth. I just put where, like here. It, it's not so precise. You can use it all, all, also uh, in the whole face if you want. And after that, I will go in with my YSL Blur Primer. $52. I just take one and a half pumps and put it as a primer. Especially in the T zone, I like to use this. We'll see how perfect my skin would look with almost like three primers on. I hope it's good. So, mm. do my base today first, because I started with the base. <laughs> uh, I will mix in these two expensive ones. Uh, the Dear Forever one and Luminous Silk Foundation. The Dear one is, this is $50, this is $64. So horrible to think. So I'm gonna mix these, like here. And with these, I'm gonna use my Custom Enhancer Drops. Just one big bump. I, if I don't remember incorrectly, this is thirty-eight dollars or thirty-six. So I'm gonna mix these three and dab it to my face. So, so luminous, but still gives you nice coverage. So healthy looking. I think I will do my concealer and powder and then I move to the eyes. Tarte Shape Tape. This uh, $27, that's what Ulta has it. I buy it in euros. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Everything. So here my beauty blender to blend this away. Uh, I'm gonna pr prime my eyelids first because then I will set my face with powder, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to prime like I have done. It's it's twenty three dollars. I'm gonna set uh, my under eyes first. 
MAC Emphasize and Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder here. Anastasia Banana Powder is $14 and this is $17, the MAC Emphasize. So I'm in a hurry to set my under eyes with this. I'm gonna use also my uh, other powders for this. Before I set anything else, I will use Soleil and Chanel. I will use this as my cream bronzer today. This I need to do now because I need to set the rest of my face soon. I will put this just nothing too much or nothing too precise, just putting it as a cream bronzer and not contouring with it. Then I will use a little bit of MAC Mineralize Skin Finish to set my face a little uh, for $34. Just like a little from here where I didn't put this. I think I will move to my eyes now, my dirty modern renaissance palette, take the uh, raw sienna and burnt orange from this palette, it's $42, I'm gonna mix these two because they are so beautiful colors, just what I need today for the look that I'm gonna create. These are so nice colors. A little bit of uh, real gar here. I just take a hint because I love the color that it gives to my crease. It's warm to my crease today. Here I think it's nicely blended. So everything might look a little messy, but I'm gonna clean everything out. Move to my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And it's all so dirty, I'm, I'm so messy. <laughs> but I will use this a little, uh, like this. I wanna use this and uh, maybe these. These two, so this is $38. The dark shade. This uh, Coco Berish also, because I want to have an extra warmth to my crease. Just placing it first and blending afterwards with the uh, with the orangey, light orangey shade. I think it's called Creamsicle. Be extra, extra warm to my crease. Here. Sigma brush and use the Creamsicle shade, just like a good amount. And put it to my crease where the colors meet. So everything will look nicely blended, I hope. Maybe I will add some color or warmth later. Depends how this starts to look. I definitely want this to be nice. Nice. Then I'm gonna grab my mm, Makeup Geek Bold Eyeshadow in Magic Act. It's $10. It's one of my favorite golds I have ever worn. MAC brush for this and uh, take a generous amount and put it all over my lid. 
Oh, I have missed this so much. Look at the oh perfectness. I don't know if there is that kind of a word, but this is so nice. I don't think anyone does this as makeup geek does this. Oh, so pretty. A little, make it very sharp. How beautiful this is. I think this is perfect gold shade because it's not party like or anything. Or maybe I'm gonna now use a little bit of this, just the hint to the outer V. I want just hint, I don't want too much, I don't want to ruin this. But I want to deepen out this for the eyeliner and just to the outer V blending it away of course I want something a little extra for my self it needs to be perfect for this look to blend because it's a warm color and it will probably make this look alive just the edges away soon you will see everything starts to go as planned I hope uh, eye studio Blackest black. There's $9.99. It's my favorite gel eyeliner. This needs just to be perfect. Heavy Metal Glitter Liner by Urban Decay. I'm not sure about the price. I haven't wrote it down, but I think it's about... It's $21, I think, or something. I will write it down. Extra Sparkle. You will see how beautiful this is. This is how I have done this. Carefully applying, because I don't want to mess the eyeliner. Anything else, but... This will give me extra, extra pop. I think I put a little too much to the other eye. Rider dies for uh, many YouTubers before they discovered the Stila ones. I like actually using this more sometimes because this gives a different kind of a sparkle. Here, like you see sparkly eyes go in with my mascara it's the l'oreal voluminous uh, extra black mascara it's easy to use and all it's 9.99 so now uh, i'm actually counting to this as uh, also my eyelashes to this tutorial or lashes lash in the cities so i haven't used this for a while because i have gotten a new pair of lashes but these i want to use today because i missed these these are in the old packaging these are uh, brand new it's the lash in the city it's 29 dollars i'm gonna uh, come back soon i'm gonna put my lashes on i'm gonna set my uh, cream bronzer with hula bronzer by benefit I'm 
now I think it's a little reddish brown so probably for my summertime bronzer but I wanted to add this in because the, it's the expensive one that I have here also because my neck is so light I'm gonna go in with my mm, Pekka blushed with light palette and I'm gonna use the middle shade it's a songbird blush I'm not being too precise because I'm gonna go in with uh, RCMA powder soon to blend everything out and do some baking Now I'm gonna do some baking with RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm gonna just take it to the cap. But it will set everything so perfectly and blend away every, any harsh line from my blush because I hate if my blush is like one spot my cheeks this really does miracles like you can see i'm gonna bring back a little the luminosity probably continue with my eyes i want to do them now the renaissance palette this shade from here and i think i will also uh also use my lower lash line just really really tight to blend everything together this really wasn't easy doing and creating and thinking what to use finish the look I'm gonna put also the glitter liner to my here because I love love using glitter here and it will connect the all but I'm not using as generous as I used sometimes I like not using highlighter in my inner corner I just like to put glitter on Not to overdo it. So now I'm putting mascara to my lower lash line. I'm using the same as I did for my uh, top part. I'm being careful. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette by um, and Pekka with Pekka. And I'm gonna use these two highlighters from this palette. I have so nice base. I will have a nicely blended edges, I hope. I'm gonna go in with some powders now. Our, gla our glass diffused light under my eyes just to bring the nice amount of brightness back and a little bit to my T-zone. For the six dollars, just a hint for the edge to the edges because I have done so much more after I have set it my face and it still takes away a little of this excess luminosity maybe. So from our class, which is the Ambient Lightning palette, which has these three shades, I'm gonna mix all of them. Just to get, make sure everything looks perfect in the contour line. Nice and smooth. This I have done myself many times. And also for a little here. Because I hate if my blush is not nice in here. I love this also for my, uh, uh, on top of my highlighter. make it a little more subtle maybe and this uh, 
this shade I use many times as my over my bronzer to make it more luminous. <clears throat> so now I don't have much left. Use this Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick. $23 for the sake of this video. I was about to uh, not to remember this. Sometimes it's nice, nice to contour also your nose. And this stick is perfect for it because it's so tiny. And this was my plan, but I'm, I don't contour my nose, so I was about to forget. I hope it maybe brought a little shadows to my nose. So now I'm gonna go in with a strip down lip pencil by Mac. Sixteen dollars fifty fifty cents. Uh, I'm gonna line my lips. Tom Ford Flush Nude, which is freaking expensive. <laughs> For the lip gloss, Dior Matte Lip Maximizer. Uh, $33. I light with the mm, Star Lip Powder by uh, uh, Makeup Forever. Just a little extra to my cheekbones. Extra. $21 or something. I'm gonna put, put all the prices down, I promise. Just a hint to the apples of my cheeks. But now I'm gonna set my face with uh, Urban Decay. $32. I think it's very glowy. My skin looks perfect, of course, because I used so nice products. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, it's always like this when I'm filming. So uh, I'm talking and all. I hope you enjoyed very much watching because I, I do like these videos very much to see what everything all, everyone owns and etc. Et but uh, I hope uh, you come back again and watch my videos. And we'll see you guys soon. I love you guys. Bye.